two, one. Happy New Year. No, it is not a Happy New Year. We're taking on Josh Morrissey and the Winnipeg Jets, and I am over it. The year is 2023. It's a new year, a new Rusty, but the same series that we still got to finish. All jokes aside, I hope you and your family had a happy new year. Big things to come in 2023, and let's get into this thing. Last episode, we finished up games three and four of our series versus the Winnipeg Jets. In game three, Rusty was locked in, scoring some nasty goals and winning the game in the process. But in game number four, things took a quick turn for the worse. Ross is Slav Nastrov put up a goose egg. Zero points, zero goals, zero assists, and we took the L. And that leads us to today, the series between the Avs and the Winnipeg Jets. Tied at two apiece, the playoff picture is shaping up, and today we have the chance to end this series with back-to-back -back wins. Well, now is our time to shine. We are back and better than ever, and we are playing angry this game. I'm taking Josh Morrissey out of this game, out of this series. He is not going to be seeing the ice again. We're hopping into game number five. Let's see what happens. Four games down, hopefully just two left as we are back in Ball Arena. And you guys know when we are at home, we simply do not lose. As we look to continue our luck today, Rostislav Nastrov fired up on the left wing. Why is my icon green? I have absolutely no idea, but I'm kind of feeling it. Here we go. Ran in with... Ran in with one of the worst dumps of the year to start off 2023. Way to be, Rant. Okay, Rusty with a little bit of wheels. We're gonna burn to the outside. Rusty with wheels all the way in. Boom! It's a good play. Connor got a good poke on me. We're gonna get off the ice again. I'm gonna keep these nice and short. Right when I see that bar hit yellow, we're getting off the ice. I'm not getting injured in a decisive game five or game six of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Also, we do have to mention Josh Morrissey has been absolutely buzzing in the real NHL. And every single time any sort of journalist or whatever posts about him, you guys tag me in it all day long. I've been hearing nothing but good things about Josh Morrissey for the last two weeks, and I'm over it. All right, we're going to end him right here right now. All right, Rusty with wheels. Uh, Nice. Oh, double poke. Rusty stayed with it. And we got PK Suran on it. Boom. Puck's still loose. Puck's still loose. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of just left Ranton down there to, to do the work. And, dude, I'm telling you what, dude. I don't know what happened to our endurance. Maybe we've been out a, a partying a little too much on New Year's Eve or something. But, holy, we have absolutely nothing. I'm gonna get off the ice yet again. We got six minutes left. Let's keep it going. Six minutes left. Give me one more shift here, coach. Give me one more shift. Do not, do not end it like this. Okay, up two. 2-1 lead for the Colorado Avalanche. Six minutes go by at the end of the period. We don't touch the ice once, but you know what? Lines two, three, and four got the job done. A 2-1 lead. We'll take that. Let's get some offense going here in period number two. Okay, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. There's Josh Morrissey, and McKinnon has just absolutely rocked him. All right, I like that my teammates are starting to starting to understand the severity of this Morrissey situation as well. You know, it's not just me anymore. All right, we all got to go out here and body this man. Oh, oh, nice play there, Rust. And that might that might be a five minute penalty. I'm not gonna lie. I just saw I, I barely saw it in the corner of my screen. It looked like it might have been a board. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully it's not a five minute penalty as. Uh, yeah, they, they they make the most of that extra man. They pull their tendy, get him on the ice, and then boom, a little rebound cheese to call it a game. We are now at 2-2, 17 minutes left. We're playing some absolutely horrible hockey right now. Can't even really blame it on anything in particular. It just feels like we have not had any possession of the puck so far in this game as there's a little possession. Nice, nice look, Rant. Could have been a better shot, but... Nice look regardless. Look at the hits leaders. Rostislav Nastrov at the top. We almost doubled up the guy that's in second place. 41 hits from Rostislav Nastrov in the playoffs. Looking for that rebound. I'm going to try to get back. Nice. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of feeling up. Kind of feeling a clap bomb. Oh, Rusty. Oh, Rusty. Oh, no screen in front there. Rusty with it. I mean, that move was nuts. Okay, we definitely should get off the ice here. I also do not want to go for a Marshawn change, though. So we'll we'll go one one last rush. If I see something, I'm kind of seeing something. Hold up. Rusty Spino. That could have been an injury. If Malkin actually gave it his all on me, I, I could have been out of this game very easily there. 
four minutes left, dude. We are getting short. I mean, maybe it kind of makes sense that we're getting short shifted. Coach is not playing line number one. I know we're not playing up to our potential. I know last game we put up a big goose egg. So, listen, I can't even be mad at Coach right now. This is some horrible hockey. We've got our season on the line. It feels like if we lose this game, you might as well call it quits. Yep. Oh, the look off from Gerard. No. I save. Nice save there, Varley. Let's throw that out as well. Nice. Okay, risky throw, but we'll take that. Gerard, I need you to start start making some plays here, buddy. What was that pass? Yep, Gerard. Here we go. Gerard's making some plays. Rusty! Rusty, where are the wheels, dude? We still have a little energy left, too, and we're skating so slow. As we had just a couple seconds left to end the period, but Rusty, nothing left in the tank. We are tied at two going into the third. This could be a banger here. This could be a banger. All right, no more messing around. We've been having a little too much fun this game. It's time to actually focus up. All right, 19 minutes on the clock. It's time for Rusty to finally be that impact player that he has been hoping to be. McKinnon, I'm going to let you take that in. Yep, nice move there, Mac. We got Morrissey on us. Morrissey, try to get him with a little stick lift, and unfortunately, we just completely whiff and hit the air. I save. Oh, I'm starting to feel the nerves a little bit. Also completely missed that puck. Holy, I'm throwing. Let's get a point. That's our guy, Morsi up top, top left. Morsi. Let's block there, Taze. Let's go, Taze. All right, we got a one-on-one. -on -one. Little chip deep. Yep, terrible chip deep, but it's fine. Let's. I'm going to wait for my buddies to get in the zone. Morsi, we burn to the outside, Rusty. <gasps> what a feed from Rusty, but what a save, Brandon, with an opportunity to bury it. Hookie's out here and Rusty's out here. We might be getting might be getting on a different line, or maybe it's a power play. Roslov, we're putting the pressure on them. Don't stop now. Can do that, coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on them. Wow. Words of wisdom from Rostislav Nashrov. Holy. I mean, I can't think of a way that we fire up a team more than what Rusty just said right there. He is ready to go. <laughs> Look at the faces on the bench. <laughs> the boys are buzzing right now. Playoffs, game five. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I don't know why me and Hookie were out there together. I have no idea. We got Morsi. You know what, Morsi? <sighs> He's lucky. He is lucky. I don't even know if we've laid a hit this entire game. Mac? Mac! <gasps> Back! What a save! What is McKinnon doing though? Right, good poke. Good little bump there from Rusty as well. We're on that back check, Smitty. Yep, me and Smitty are the ghosts together. A little spin up. And we have no energy left. Dude, we, we have to get off the ice. I know I want to stay out there, but it's just not smart. 2 2. No OT here. No OT here. 3 2 for the Winnipeg Jets. As Malkin is the one to get the go ahead goal. 3 2 it is. All right, Shifes, go ahead and take a seat, but It is Josh Morrissey. Are you kidding me? With this time on the clock, and look at Shifley, dude. Usually you fight him if he's injured, but this guy's sitting there with his hand on his stick, just relaxing. What kind of joke is this? Morrissey, take a seat. You have got to be kidding me, dude. A minute on the clock. Morsi. Oh, yeah. You're going to skate by me and give me a shove, huh? I'm surprised you can even stand up. As we get bumped from the game here in the dying minutes, Morsi sprints across the ice like he always does. And Shifley sitting there just chilling with his arm on his stick, resting his chin. What a sick joke. You gotta be kidding me, dude. It's another one of these. We are gonna be stuck watching potentially the remainder of this game. Maybe we score one and four so T. We'll see when the goalie pull comes. Here we go. Randon. Randon with a double. Randon. Randon time to double toe drag. I know I was getting a little hype, but you can't be doing that, Rant. 30 seconds on the clock. Again, this this feels like a defining moment in Rusty's career with this team. All right, next rush up the ice. We gotta get the goalie pulled. Varley, Varley, go to the bench. Okay, here we go. McKinnon. McKinnon with the rush. Varley is still not going off the ice. What is happening here? Coach, where is our extra man? Wait, wait, wait. Three, two. He's killing it in the corner. One shot. And it comes a little bit too late. And just like that, in the dying moment of the game, now we know. All right, no big hits with the game on the line. Rostov Nashrov tries to change the momentum of the game, tries to lay that big hit, get a quick rush up the ice, and instead we're forced to watch the rest of the game from the box. And the fact that it's Josh Morrissey, like we almost knew this was going to happen, but the fact that it happened again, Josh Morrissey's the one to do it, sprints across the ice, and the boys head to the locker room with another goose egg and another big L. 
with our season on the lawn. It is one loss and we are out. That is back to back games with Rusty not putting a single point on the board. Yes, we went out there. We had our opportunities. We made some good passes. We had some good shots. But at the end of the day, that wasn't enough right? We have to be the game changer. We can't be making those dumb hits at the end of the game. And that is what we did in one of the biggest games of Rusty's career. Listen, with desperate times comes desperate measures. All right, it is time to get Rostislav Nashrov's endurance up however we can. All right, I'm going to start looking through this list and find something, anything that can help us in potentially our last game of the season. Okay, the 80s car gives us plus one endurance, plus one passing, and increases the power play line score. I assume I'm good to have multiple cars, right? Because we have the luxury car, we have the bike. We might as well toss another one into the collection. Listen, I got to do this. All right, plus one endurance, boom. So we have endurance, the power play score, the passing. We have the plus one strength, the plus one speed, the X factor point, and the plus two speed. And now we have our three modes of transportation, and we have everything we need to complete this win you know there's nothing quite like buying an 80s car with your season on the line one loss away from elimination but just go with it this could help us somehow some way i'm not going to let the winnipeg jets take us out of this series of all teams the team that we had a rivalry going with in the regular season josh morrissey johnny hockey of Genny malkin they stacked up a lineup and we are going to take them down Looking at the rest of the bracket. Yes, it is 3-2, our life on the line. It is also 3-2 in the Battle of Alberta. 3-2, Ottawa over the Blue Jackets. And 3-2, Toronto over Florida. Toronto choking away at one point what was a 3-0 lead over the Florida Panthers. We'll keep that in mind. Now, none of that matters. It is one loss and we are out one win and this series continues everything on the line in winnipeg let's get it series on the line rostislav nashrov is taking in the scenes here in winnipeg all right just getting our mind right we know what we are capable of doing we know what we have to do we represent the colorado avalanche we fight for this team we give it our all we come out here and force a game seven and it is the whiteout again in winnipeg i keep forgetting dude it's so intimidating when you see this you hop on the ice and that's the first thing you see nothing but the whiteout in the stands all right everything on the line one loss and our season comes to an end but a chance for rusty to be a hero yet again okay first play of the game Devontae is just ripping it into our own goalie not the start you want to see from your first line defenseman at this point we're just starting to get in our own head a little bit you know two two games in a row with a goose egg it's time to change that right now first shot of the game for rusty yep kale yep i got a stream he tried to pass that to me i think just get that shot low and maybe we get the rebound let's just shoot pucks today the other thing is we just haven't been getting a ton of shots last game varley what a save last game i think we only had two total shots on net that we had our opportunities but again we're waiting for the perfect ones we just have to fire them as we have morrissey on us we get bodied from behind we're slow to get up as well we got to be careful with that all right coach is putting us in a nice and aggressive position off the draw we just need to win those draws though i want a quick rush I cannot remember the last time that I had a breakaway or even just even just an odd man rush. We go. I'm not going to I do not want to take another big hit. So we'll reset that to the D and get it back to me. Boom. Good cut there. And we just hand PK Subban in the puck and we hand Kyle Connor a breakaway and we get absolutely blessed by the post. This is a terrible, terrible start. We know how hard it is to play in front of this building. We already know. All right. Nice save there. Var Varley, is, he's come to play this game. I can guarantee you that. Good pass there, Schmidt. I'm going to try to find. Yep, that's a great find. Rusty's slow to get up, but we are getting up. I'm going to stay out here for one last rush. Come on, Dill. Wheeler. Woo! Oh, Wheeler absolutely sat down. Ref! What are they calling? A charge. A charge on Rusty on that one. We take two steps. Rusty, again, going to the box without a hockey stick in his hands. We take a little run at Wheeler and we pay the price. That's a dumb mistake. Not... That's... That's a charge. That's a charge. Okay, we do survive somehow, some way. We got two minutes. Nice, nice little back check there, Rust. Yep. Okay, it's time to make something happen here, boys. Watch this little cut. Yep. <gasps> Rusty? Win that battle. Win that battle. We're getting double hell, dude. They both they both come in me and I'm getting double teamed. Every single time I go to the corner, there's two of them bodying me down low. Kyle Kerner caught. We're going to get one last rush here. Okay, Landy, I see you. 
I'm just playing scared right now, boys. I'm playing scared. Every single time I go up the ice, I'm getting bodied twice. I got two guys on me at all times. Every time I try to make that quick look, I'm getting bodied instantly afterwards. It's a scary, scary game night right now, and we got to turn it around. Okay, it is 0-0 after one. We are going into this like a completely fresh game. Let's just act like nothing has happened. I know this has not been our best performance. I know last game was not our best performance, and the game before last was not our best performance. But right now, we can turn it around. Here we go. We got wheels. Rusty, Rusty with wheels. We're going to go a little short tide. Oh! Still there? Oh, good look, good look. Okay, we tried a little bit the hard shot. It wasn't quite there, but still a good look nonetheless. Okay, I'm going to stop calling for the puck too much as well, as McKinnon, McKinnon absolutely wrecked, but this is fine. Nice little cut there, Rust. Oh! <gasps> Try to find that backhand. I wanted that to the far side. I don't know why it went so close, but still a shot on that. Again, our goal for this game is just to shoot the puck. We have not done that enough, and we got to start doing it now. Got to get off the ice here. No shots against. Nice save. I'm going to cherry pick a little. Yep, we're up there. Rusty. Little spin Oh, Rusty. Back door. Back door. Back door. Boom. Rusty with the spin off setup. And Spinny is there to bury it with nothing left in the tank. Rostislav Nashrov takes it upon himself to get our first goal of the game. What a spin. What a setup. What a goal. That can change the course of history between our eyes. I'm reducing your ice time. Play better or I'll leave you on the bench. Coach! There is no way. I know I was out there for a long shift, coach, but with everything we have on the line, you got to have your best guys on the ice when you need it most. Rusty had enough in the tank for one last rush. We took it and we scored it. We are getting short shifted. We have three and a half minutes left here. I am not calling for the puck anymore. We need our team play to go up. We're going to lay hits. A nice... I was 100% positive I was the one that laid that hit and Morrissey was dropping the gloves with me. But no, Ranton is coming out here and giving Morrissey a couple bops as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get a nice view of Morrissey getting knocked down to the ice right here. Look at this. Rusty's getting a... Rusty's getting a front row ticket to Morrissey laying down. Ranton, I need one more big punch from you. Okay. Morsey, uh, Morsey got the best of Ranton in there. Unfortunate, but it's okay because it's not us in the box. I'm never going to the box again. So we have lost Ranton in for the next five minutes. We'll keep that in mind, but we do still need to consider our team play here. I know, you know, it makes no sense that we're even considering getting benched from Co as we turn over the puck again, dude. Just catch a pass. Okay, we've got 40 seconds. We're going to go for one last rush. Here we go. Yep, feed me. We got wheels. We got wheels. We got wheels. I don't want to get bodied here. As we take it offside, that's not going to be good for the team play either. This is terrible. Last shot. McKinnon. Oh, McKinnon. <gasps> McKinnon. Oh, good effort. And that's going to do it. Okay, we are up 1-0, but at what cost? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Coach is almost sitting Rostislav Nashrov. Ranton is fighting Josh Morrissey instead of me. I don't know. But we are up 1-0. That's all that matters. Let's keep this rolling. Okay, coach is still leaving us out on the ice. As long as we play smart, play our position, and keep this lead, we will be fine. Nice play there, Kale. Good little feed. We're going to try to make our way up the middle. I, I see you up on that right there, Smitty. I see you. Smitty! Oh, good shot there, Smith. I don't mind that shot. I don't, he's looking for the rebound, and I'm almost there. So if you keep shooting like that, good things will come. One goal, and we start to feel a little safe. Right now, we're still on the ropes. Johnny? Go ahead and take a seat, buddy. Nice and clean hit there from Rusty as well. Now, the good news is with Ranton and out, we do get to play with Smitty. And me and Smitty are the reason that first goal went into the net. Nice pass. Trying to find somebody in front, dude. It's just such a mess. There's guys bouncing all over the place. And Johnny Hockey taking... You gotta be kidding me, dude. I, actually, you know what? Rostislav Nashrov for Kyle Conn... Oh! 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 Rostislav Nashrov for Kyle Connor is not a bad deal, honestly. <gasps> oh, I thought we were getting the headlock there. We're getting the grab. Yep, we got him in that grab. We got him in the lock. You grab one and you just pop away on the right. Let's go. So Rusty takes Kyle Connor out of the play. We also may have injured Johnny Hockey on the play. I'll take that two for one all day long. As Rusty is forced to the box, we have me and Ranton in the box right now. I don't know. Ranton has probably got about a minute left. I've got another five. Holy, this is a mess. Okay, we get back on the ice. We have full energy, and it is still a 1-0 game. I don't know what happened to the goaltenders, but holy Varley, he came to play. Booze are raining down in the building. Uh, somebody got injured. Top left. Let's go! 
and there we have it rusty okay i'm telling you what we just keep playing our game and the puck just gravitates towards us rusty with his stick on the ice sits in the mid slot finds that puck and finds the top left corner 2-0 for the colorado avalanche in game six that is the biggest goal of rusty's career by far but the job is not finished i am playing until that final whistle we're not celebrating until until that final whistle okay another big hit we got malkin yep i'm gonna sit there and block that we're good nice poke there rust let's throw that out oh they got an injury oh we gotta throw that out let's go yep okay kyle connor is out of the game potentially out of this series was able to get off the ice as rusty try to find that backhand nothing quite there hold on we got a little little pressure here let's go morrissey i don't like that elbow buddy I don't like that elbow. Keep your head up. <gasps> Johnny! Johnny's injured. We got oh, Kyle Connors injured. Johnny's injured. Yo, this is unreal. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> Smitty, okay. I'm going to get off the ice. We should have one last shift to end this game. No goals against here, boys. No goals against. 450 on the clock. 2-0. And that is going to do it. The Colorado Avalanche have survived this series does not end today as next episode we go to a game seven versus the winnipeg jets i know that it has been a rough couple games for rostislav nastrov but what did i say in big moments with big opportunities rusty comes to play a nasty spin move a nasty snipe and just like that we force a game seven let's go dude i honestly had a bad feeling that today this series was going to come to an end but no we find a way rusty with one of the biggest games of his life 32 minutes time on ice let's go rust now it is time to see what happened in the other playoff series is there a series that is finished up yet or will we have every other series is done as calgary takes it over edmonton that is huge i was scared of dry and mcdavid now we don't even have to deal with them anymore and over on the east unfortunately my blue jackets have fallen to the ottawa senators of all teams i don't know what ottawa did but they are apparently heading to the eastern conference final and for all the toronto fans don't you worry they did not choke a 3-0 series lead it is a 4-2 win over the Florida Panthers. This is shaping up to be a banger. Let's go. Oh my goodness. You cannot ask for a better playoffs than what we have right here, right now. Next episode, we will play game seven and see who goes on to the Western Conference Finals to meet the Calgary Flames. This episode had it all, but at the end of the day, we survived, and that's all that matters. If you guys did enjoy this one, you know what to do. Hit the video with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 milli, and 2023 is going to be an absolutely crazy year. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.